Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing the Rainbow Bokoblin Challenge. And if you don't know what that is, then I don't blame you because I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to do it. And essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be defeating one of each type of Bokoblin. So red, blue, black, white, gold. And yeah, we're going to be doing them in order. But we do have one problem though, that I'm playing in Master Mode, like always. That means I'm going to have to go across to Normal Mode because, obviously... Red Bokoblins aren't in Master Mode. Actually, no, I, there may be, but I don't know where they are. I think there might be one, but I don't know where that is. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to head into normal mode. Okay, so I've just loaded up normal mode, and I appear to be on top of a flagpole in a Tina village. The first thing I notice is the amount of rupees I have in normal mode, and that I got a lot of Twilight modes, or two. But yeah, so this is my normal mode account. Uh, I don't think I really show this off too often, but uh, yeah, let's just give myself some bonus art, so. But yeah, this is my normal mode account. I've got the same stuff I do on master mode that really matters, fully powered up master sword, Hylian shield, Rivali's bow, but yeah. So I am going to go to one of the most obvious places to find Bokoblins because they are literally everywhere on the plateau so yeah let's head over there I'm going to be going to a specific one and yeah okay so here we are on the plateau and just here is going to be one of the first enemies you encounter in the entire game and I just one shot them uh yeah I probably shouldn't have used the fully powered up master on that because well 60 damage per hit Anyway, um, I guess we move on to blue Bokoblins. Okay, so I put us back in master mode. Because we're going to need to be in master mode for some of the final enemy. And that was way too easy. Right, so uh, I can actually unequip the Thunder Helm now. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to black Bokos. Which I don't actually know where they spawn. Or white Bokos. Basically, I know where red, blue, and gold spawn. Okay, I found a black one. Uh, okay, so come out here. I'm, I will just quickly take care of the other ones. Okay, so it's now a 1v1 versus me and a black Pokemon. So let's go. Don't know why I was pulling my menu out. I mean, obviously, the hardest ones are going to be the gold ones. But, oh, there we go. And that's just made it even harder. So now we're going to have to defeat a white and a gold Boko with a master sword that's running low on energy yeah okay let's find a white one okay so i might be completely wrong but i think there may be a white boko here so i'm equipping my strongest weapon and i see we i think we have a white boko we do okay so i'm gonna take care of all the other ones and i'll see you back here in a second Okay, so I had a bit of an idea, and what we're going to do is, because there's two gold ones here, we're just going to make this a bit of a finale, and we're going to take on all three of these guys at the same time, and we'll do white and gold at the same time. So, I've just used the Boaster's Fury to take out the others, and now I can just use that again. The focus is the white one, so we're still doing an order. Oh, my Savage Lionel Crusher broke already. Let's go Sword of the Six Sages. And then I'll just do a little spin attack here. And then, you know what? I'm making it a little too easy. Let's go. Let's use the Goddess Sword. Because if I just spin to win with high damage weapons, that's a little too easy. So I am just going to loot. And then let these guys come at me. We've got pretty powerful weapons. Somehow I got a flurry rush on that. Managed to get the headshot. You may be wondering where my master sword went. Uh, I thought it would take me a while to find a white one, but it turns out it didn't. I made the master sword run out of energy. Because uh, I thought I'd be running around trying to find a white one. So that's why I don't have the master sword. Let's just keep going ham on this guy. I've been playing a lot of Age of Calamity, so I keep trying to do attacks that you would find in Age of Calamity, and two diamonds! 
please don't judge my aim. It's probably not the best currently. Oh, I accidentally cancelled the arrow. We got him down to pretty weak HP. Nearly picked up a cricket. What was that shot there? There we go. Actually managed to connect the shot last time. And I reckon we should be able to finish him off here with the flurry rush. There we go. And that's it. That is every version of Bokoblins taken out. And I don't know if that... Oh, you didn't see that. There we go. Just in case there are any more in there. And I get to get my prize for completing the challenge. I will not be taking that. Obviously, I don't get that for completing the challenge. I just got it because I cleared this camp. Anyway, that was a video that was a lot shorter than I intended it to be. It took a lot more time to get on top of that guardian's head at the beginning than it did to wipe out all of those enemies. So yeah, uh, if you did enjoy, like, subscribe, and I will hopefully see you all later. Bye.